Good day, everyone. Today, I'm excited to share with you this topic entitled How to Manage Your Pictures for Best Effect. I hope you still remember the song which was very popular in the 1970s entitled If. If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? Yes, it's true that a picture paints a thousand words. That's why your pictures should be managed for best effect. I am Manuel, an engineer and real estate broker. If you are new to this channel, it's best to subscribe so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos that will be very helpful for you now let me ask you this question are you one of those who just use the pictures from your phone camera without editing them well there's a reason why you should edit them and one of those is that the picture could be too large or too heavy and it is hard to upload them in classified ads or to email so in this video you will be able to resize your pictures so they will not be too heavy and will be accepted in email or classified ads and you will also learn how to improve the quality of your pictures very quickly from this to this in just a few seconds now let me show you how to manage your pictures for best effect we will answer the following questions what is the ideal size of a picture to post? Why is the default settings of our phone so big? How can we edit the size and improve the quality of our pictures? But first, let us take up basic technical knowledge. What are the sizes used for pictures? One bit is the smallest storage of a unit. One byte equals eight bits. 1,000 bytes equals one kilobyte. 1,000 kilobytes equals one megabyte. And 1,000 megabytes equals one gigabyte. To give you a picture of how small uh, one byte is, let's take an analogy like this ball pen. One dot of a ball pen could be equivalent to one byte. And how many bytes would it take to cover the entire picture? Well, it's not only 1,000 bytes it could be one megabyte and it may not be just black it may be colored just the same so this is for storage purposes when we say byte it means storage in your computer or cell phone but when it comes to pictures we have another measurement in terms of pixel what is a pixel? It is the smallest element of square in a picture or screen. So for instance, this is your smallest square. Going back to the analogy of a ball pen, it can produce a small square. And how many squares would it take to cover the entire screen of your computer? Well, it could be 1,000. But first, 
before we determine that, we have to define resolution because we often hear this word, resolution. What is the difference between pixel and resolution? Resolution is defined as the number of pixels per inch of an image. So that means the bigger the pixel, the better is the resolution. But sometimes it may not be necessary depending on your need. Okay, let me explain that for example, one bond paper size could be equivalent to 300 kilobytes more or less in terms of storage. And four bond papers could be 4,000 pixels and that will be 1,200 kilobytes more or less. What is the ideal size of a picture to post? The ideal size is 1,000 pixels and that's 300 KB in terms of storage. Why the default of a cell phone is so big? Mine is 4,120 by 3,160. The answer is so that you can maximize your pictures. You can use it in any way you want. Like for example, a map. A map should be able to let you see the block number as well as the lot number, the details of the inside of the map. But if you have, for example, a map that is only 1,000 pixels, can you see the block number and the lot number? No, you cannot. But when you have a bigger pixels, like the biggest settings in your phone, for example, that's about 4,000 pixels, it could be like this. So it's easy for you to read the block number as well as the lot number because it's big. So there is a purpose why you should have also a bigger uh, pixel. All right. It is not advisable to post pictures from your phone camera with a default of 4,000 plus pixels because a lot of classified ads and other websites find it too heavy for a 4,000 pixel picture. That's why you need to edit them. And there are three simplest methods to edit pictures. Number one, you just post to Facebook and then copy and save back to your folder. Why? Because Facebook automatically reduces the pixels and resolution of your picture. In my experience, my 4,000 pixels would automatically be converted into 700 pixels, more or less. Okay. Another way is to use Microsoft Paint. And later on, I will demonstrate to you how you can possibly use Microsoft Paint to edit pictures. And you can also download some editing softwares and you can search this from the internet or Google. And just a tip, before editing, you need to transfer the files first to your laptop or desktop so you can keep the original pictures even at higher pixels and resolution. Okay, so the steps to edit the size of your pictures are number one, hover and right click at the picture. Two, open with paint. Three, choose resize and choose pixel. Four, change pixel to 1000 if you want the entire screen. Okay, and then click OK. 
and click file to save to JPEG or similar file. Choose a folder to store the file. And what are the steps to edit the quality of your pictures? One is to hover and right click at the picture. Open with photos. Choose edit and create. Choose adjustment. And click light to darken and adjust left and right. Click file and then save as JPEG or similar files like PNG. Choose a folder to store the file. And more tips. Use Google Drive to store pictures and then you can also use YouTube to store your video files. And use SD card for your phone to give more space for your phone internal storage. I hope you have learned something from this video and if you did let me congratulate you for a job well done because when you apply the techniques I have shared with you your pictures will surely be appreciated and because your pictures paint a thousand words well, this video is quite theoretical, but I promise that in my next video entitled How to Manage Your Pictures Part 2, I will demonstrate to you step by step in my computer screen how you can manage your pictures so you can follow along. Thank you for your time and see you in my next video part 